finally did it. I found stateside a Ducati 996 R. I'm so excited. They made 500 of these worldwide. And uh, I think only 150 were imported uh, to the US. So I am super excited. And uh, this is not a normal uh, 996R. This is actually a special 996R. And you wonder why am I in this warehouse? This is because my wife doesn't know that I bought the bike. So, and she's not very tech friendly. So hopefully by the time she will become tech friendly and she will learn how to use YouTube, I will have already told her, but if you see her, don't tell her. All right, as I was saying, 996R, um, this is very dirty. You can see it here. Um, there's been in, in, a, in a collection. I wanted to, to tell you a couple of things. First of all, this sticker, read it. This motorcycle is designed for close course competition use only, does not confirm to US EPA motorcycle noise standard. These were not homologated in the US. As a matter of fact, uh, it's funny because the first 350 that were sold to uh, customers, they sold right away. Whereas the 150 that were sort of destined for race teams, and this is the one, this is one of them, uh, they, they just could not move them. So Ducati just gave them to dealers and they said, hey, why don't you soup these bikes up and uh, just use them to advertise all the Ducati performance parts. And this was one of them. Uh, let me show you uh, a couple. I wanna say a couple, it's not a couple, it's many more things that are not original of the 996R. First of all, the tail. You see it's missing the grills here, but that's because it's carbon fiber. The whole tail is, is carbon fiber and uh, even the seat, as you can see, was not made uh, with the stock material. It's actually peeling a little bit. Let me see if I can open it. There we go. So look at this, all carbon fiber. The 996R was not carbon fiber. And this was done really well. As you can see, this is, this is not just a sticker put on it. This was painted on it. So very, very nice. Um, I like the fact, and then I had a bit of, uh, what the hell moment because when I raise the tail you know what's supposed to be here the ECU and the ECU was missing I was like no nah, I got scammed that's why I found it but then uh, they told me that they moved it to the side so anyways let's move around let's see the parts so this carbon fiber this is obviously aftermarket uh, then we've got the clutch cover I don't know if this is carbon fiber uh, stock or not uh, this one as well. I think this one was stock carbon fiber. Um, we got the cans. Uh, I don't think these were um, carbon fiber on the original bike. This one for sure wasn't. Uh, this all cow now is, uh, is all carbon fiber as you can see. And it was not, uh, it was plastic on the original. Carbon fiber mirrors, carbon fiber stay. Um, Ducati Performance uh, uh, RPMs, uh, tachometer, uh, what else? There was something else that I saw. I, I think these two were also option carbon fiber and you can see that it's peeling. The bike only has 1800 miles. I mean, nothing. And as a matter of fact, let's see if I can find it. There it is. Um, look at the date stamp on the tire, 0901. This tire was manufactured the ninth week of 2001. And uh, yeah, definitely we, we will need to change that. Uh, oh, one cool thing that this bike has actually is the quick shifter. Look, <laughs> look how they came 20 years ago with this, with this little lever thingy to, to, to select it. It's, I thought it was pretty funny, but overall, super special bike. I am excited. I don't think it has had the belts done in the last uh, probably 20 years or maybe 15 years at least. Uh, she is beautiful. Um, she has got the, the, big, the big brakes, um, the all-ins, of course, um, the Brembo uh, brakes with the lever, carbon fiber airbox, um, carbon fiber side fairings, these were stock 
Uh, it's got a little nick here, but whatever. And uh, I really don't know what to do with this bike, whether to put it in, in conditions to be ridden uh, or just collect it. I'm not the collector type of guy, but then again, when you do start to to work on these bikes and, and uh, you gotta maintain them, right? You gotta the battery, the belts and so forth. But I do want to hear it running. So for sure, I would work on it. Um, some of you will notice it doesn't have uh, any, uh, an, it's not number, but that's because the 150 that were destined to the race teams did not have a number plate. So overall, I am super excited. I have no idea how many of these bikes there are in the US. Um, unfortunately, I cannot make you, um, let you hear it. Uh, as I said, I need to do the bells. This one is May 2001 and uh, I love it. I'm, I'm super excited, I'm super pumped. I really hope to make a cool video soon about the latest addition to the garage. Thank you, bye.